Bonjour, and welcome back to another episode of TED Mini, where together we'll be learning about technology, engineering, and design. I'm Serene, and together we'll be learning about flowcharts. Flowcharts are diagrams which are used to show the correct sequence of events in an operation. In simpler words, it is a step-by-step -step chart of how to solve a task. The majority of tasks are made up of three simple things, an input, a process and an output. Think of a simple vending machine. The input would be putting in the money and pressing the number corresponding to your item. The process would be the machine retrieving your item and working out the change, and the outputs would be the machine giving you both the item and the change. So the input is when you put something in, the process is when the machine is working on your inputs, and the output is when the system hands something out. An intelligent system would go one step further. An intelligent system would have something extra called a feedback. The feedback is when the system asks itself and reprocesses that new information. For example, an item got jammed inside the machine, so the machine will instruct itself that there has been an error and that it needs to ask the user to choose another option. This is one very simple way of graphically explaining a system. However, flowcharts are ways in which such systems However, flowcharts are ways in which such systems can be explained more clearly and universally. First of all, flowcharts are made up of five basic shapes. One, the start or stop shape, used at the beginning of the flowchart and at the very end when needed. Two, the process, where an instruction or command is happening. Three, the decision, where a yes or no answer is being asked. And four, the input or output, where a signal or data is being put in or out of the system. Let's make a flowchart for a simple object. Let's take this electronic kettle as an example. Let's imagine we are programming the circuit that's inside of it. So, once the kettle is filled with water and set in its base, it can be powered using the power button. Then, the temperature is set. The heating element starts. The water starts to heat up. The thermostat is reading the temperature of the water. And when the water comes up to temperature, the heating element is turned off and the sound signal is given. Let's turn the sequence of events into a flowchart. We first need to open the flowchart with a start. The next step is setting up the temperature, as we are pressing the button to put in the temperature that is an input, and so we need an input shape. The heating element is now starting to heat up, so this is a process, as an action is taking place, but without our input or output. The water is starting to heat up as a result of the heating element, so this is another process. The thermostat is now reading the temperature of the water and must make a yes or no decision. This question being, is the water up to temperature? If the answer is no, the system will give feedback to itself to keep on going and loop again. If the answer is yes, the element stops heating as a process. And finally, a sound output is given. And that was a very simple and short explanation of how flowcharts work. I hope you have enjoyed this episode of TED Mini, and if you have been, thanks for watching.